Hello and welcome to a quick tip questions answered video. I've had a few questions on the uh, comment page, so don't forget to leave those comments because I do read them. Um, what's the best colors to use for portrait painting? Um, it's a very difficult uh, question to answer, but the, the, the process I go through, I will show you. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So thank you very much for joining me um, in the studio. I'll try and do this as easy and as simple as I possibly can. Um, there's a few different colors that I use. I don't do a lot of portraits, but um, for the portraits I have done, um, human portraits I have done, I tend to use these type of colors. Um, so I've got a yellow ochre, some burnt umber, some red. Um, I've got some yellow, some Naples yellow, some oxide chromium green. There you go, that's oxide green. And this particular color there is the, um, if I can find it, is buff titanium. I'll find buff titanium, all right. Don't go along and buy flesh tint from the shops because it's nothing like you expect it to be. Um, anyway, f I'll explain why. So I'll, I'll start with maybe a little bit of yellow ochre like that. And um, to, to, to lighten that, I'll tend to use a little bit of yellow. There we go. I tend to go a little bit more towards the yellow side like that a very you very rarely i'll use um a bit of I'll, I'll use white um you can thin it um lighten it a little bit with white but it does tend to get a little bit chalky and a little bit of red into that color and you can see that already it's starting to get a little bit of a lovely warm type of color it's a lovely pink, a lovely orangey type of colour. That is, I quite like that colour. What I'll do then is add, add a little bit of buff titanium to that. And that's going to take that down. Like that. There's, there's, if you look at skin, I'm not, a, I'm not a portrait artist, so th this might be completely wrong. But if you look at skin, it's quite... um. It's quite mottled in, in, in different in, in different ways. So skin isn't just one colour, which is what I'm saying. A little touch of green, a little touch of green, not a lot, just to grey that down. So you can grey this colour just a touch like that. And you get that, there's more green in skin. I find I might be wrong, I'm I'm not trained in any way. This is just the process that I've 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 found it over the years. Um, to do um, a little bit of Naples yellow we can play around with the color there we are that's going to lighten it even more so we can lighten the color like that maybe just a touch more red it's it's it's, it's really hard to explain the best mix for for skin tones because skin tones are so different because we Caucasian colors you know there's there's a variation of colors there already um and it's a it's a difficult match actually it really is you, you can you can you can spend hours trying to get skin tones right and as i said i'm not i'm not um i'm not a portrait artist so maybe i struggle too much but i i thought i would touch on this subject and 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 try and help to my best knowledge but you can see what I'm doing. I'm just graying colors and lightening colors, and we can we can get a bit of white um, on the palette now. Let's get a bit of white on the palette. Um, have I got some white? Have I got some white? We got some white. We got some white. We got some white. So, like, I don't use a lot of white in 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 my mixes because I th I f I think. They tend to go a little bit chalky, but you can lighten them down. You can lighten them down quite nicely. Look, see. Well, that's all well and good, but I won't. What I won't do to a colour is add black. What I do is add burnt ember to 
darken my skin tone. So you can darken down the skin tone by adding burnt umber to it. And the, the more burnt umber, or um, you can add a little bit of blue to it as well, which will take it more into the um, darker skin tone, tone categories that we find. Because it, it's skin, skin isn't black. It's it's more of a dark, a dark, very dark brown or a very dark blue. So we can darken and lighten these colours. And these are just the colours I tend to use. You can put a little bit of yellow ochre into that, like that. And again, we can lighten that up. Uh, this is not a lesson on colour mixing. This is just a a lesson of how to mix different types of tones with just these basic colours, a little bit of green in that one. We can add a little bit of green to that. There we go. Don't forget green and red neutralise each other. So if we put a bit of red and a bit of green, as I've said, into a, another lesson, you know, and then you add a little bit of this buff titanium to that, then you're going to find another colour that you can play with. And maybe add a little bit of yellow to that. And if that's too too yellow, then add a little bit of red to it. So the opposite to yellow is is um, is violet. So if you if you make a violet, if you add red and blue together, make a violet, it's gonna it's gonna grey it naturally. So you wanna you wanna avoid using reds. Uh, uh, sorry, you wanna avoid using blacks and whites because if you add a white to that, it's gonna make it very chalky. But there's another nice color. Just by adding white to that, you can find another type of skin tone like that. So what I'm trying to say in this particular lesson is you want to play and experiment with different colors and variations and once you find a color that you like it's, it's quite easy to 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 rematch that color. Um, if you practice yellow ochre, burnt umber. Yellow ochre, burnt umber, a little bit of Naples yellow, a little bit of red And then add a bit of white to that, and you've got a f lovely pinky type of skin tone again. There you go. So just play. All I'm saying to you is those are the range of colors that I use, and those are some of the variations of colors that I can get for skin tones. And it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And as if you can look at the skin, you can see my skin looks quite red there. But it isn't in real life. Um, you can see that it's it's a it's a multitude of different shades in just one area. You've got blemishes, you've got spots, you've got where the sun is I hit it slightly more than other places, you've got lights and darks, and it's a multitude of colours, and that's what makes skin tones up. It's not just one colour. So if that's helped you, I hope it has. I hope that's answered a question. Anyway, that's the colours I use. So give it a try and get a bit of paper and just have fun mixing paints and see what tones life. that you can get for, for flesh tones. There we are, a bit of fun. That's what it's all about. Art is not about stress, it's about enjoying and having fun. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.